welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I'm Simran Sabarwal. I'm really happy to have with me today Dr. Ashish Bajaj. He's the Chief Marketing Officer at Narayan Health. Ashish, lovely to have you. Thank you, Simran. Thank you for having me. Uh, Ashish, I just want to start off with your latest campaign, which is Apno Ki Fikr. What's the genesis behind this campaign? See, uh, we as a brand uh, have, have uh, moved ahead in terms of having a brand proposition as take care. Uh, we want to take care of you as a consumer, as a patient. Uh, moving into the same premise, uh, we are also uh, known for cardiac. And for over the years, we have built our journey upwards from uh, known for cardiac. So we wanted to bring in forward all our different capabilities in terms of our departments where we are doing amazing work and our clinical and uh, uh, medical technology equipments and upgrades have been amazing, be it oncology, be it or ortho, uh, be it gastro. You name the departments and there has been a fair bit of amount of great work that has happened in these departments. So it was important for us to bring that forward in uh, in front of our consumers and uh, and this is the this is the campaign which brings across with empathy so we have tried the genesis to be built around saying that there is one one person in house who's technologically advanced and is the smart one and they are making the smart choices so that's how uh, all of this came to light and uh, we are very happy that the films have come out very well and it's been appreciated well uh, Ashish, uh, you know, they say prevention is better than the cure. Uh, but, uh, you know, after the pandemic, a lot of people got interested in health and, you know, you had your insurances in place, people were taking uh, yearly checkups, but then that has now, again, I think it's gone down to pre-pandemic levels. How do you continue? And just related to your campaign also, what is the challenge in, you know, telling the people that this is important? Because there doesn't seem to be an urgency. During the pa pandemic, there was like an urgency to get an insurance, get yourself tested. Are you okay? But that has not, uh, that is not so now. Mm, absolutely. So COVID become, became that external influence into the entire equation and people yeah. started acting very very fast in terms of bringing whatever home that was required but now that external input has moved out people have come back to the baseline uh, that means i'm okay if i don't have an insurance piece i'm okay if i'm not getting my preventive health checkups uh, nothing happens to me right so that mentality okay. started seeking in and uh, um, and as a as a brand uh, we really really want to focus on to the preventive part of it because that allows you to take care of yourself and being true to what we promise as a brand to deliver. And how did you come up with the term take care to be the proposition? Uh, of course, a lot of research gone into and a lot of uh, midnight oil the team has burnt in. But simply, it's, it's the most uh, simplest of term that we keep hearing when people keep calling us in terms of saying that, uh, can you please take care of my family? Can you please take care of that someone that is with you guys in terms of being uh, being treated at your uh, facilities? So um, when we zero down on it, I think it's the most powerful and the simplest of, and, and the simplest of emotion which can be associated uh, with any healthcare brand. And it just says everything. Uh, you're rolling out a 360 degree campaign in your target markets. So I just want to, uh, which are the platforms that you're doing and which do you feel is the very most effective way to reach out to your target audience? So uh, similar for us, uh, the strategy is very clear that we want to be mm -hmm. the uh, neighborhood brand. And uh, for that, that means anything between uh, zero to 30 kilometers of a specific unit for us makes as our target uh, geography for us. And uh, the the people around becomes a core audience. And when we talk about that, uh, the media strategy always works around well if it's hyper-local. 
And um, yes, reach is also important uh, when you're talking about reaches in markets, which can be media isolated geographies. So that means you have uh, Karnataka for say, where I have Kannada uh, channels, TV channels to build up my reach and I have a fair bit of enough of my units also present in Karnataka. Similarly for Kolkata cluster, which is again a media isolated market, which you can advertise on uh, Bangla channels and you can build up that reach. Similarly, uh, Rajasthan, uh, we are there on TV. Uh, for Raipur as well, we are there on TV. But neighborhood takes away the larger share of the buy in terms of our investment, be it either digitally, be it either outdoors or nearby areas. And also, uh, BTL makes a big, big, big story for us because that's our end mile conversions. Uh, if you talk in the sense of any brand looking at final conversions, so that makes a bigger portion or an activity which is kind of always on for us. So localization and hyper-localization is the way to go. Absolutely. Uh, now I want to ask you is as a category, how do you define your ROI? Because this is not the auto sector or uh, the FMCG sector or a consumer durable sector where if you have a call to action campaign, then you see, you know, the spike in sales. So how do you, you know, measure your ROI in this category? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I, I, I've heard starting questions from saying, why do a, a healthcare brand needs advertising or marketing? So I think you've gone to a level where you're asking me how the ROI comes. So that means I've established at least marketing or my job is safe. So from that point of view, uh, for us, ROI works on lead indicators. Uh, and for us, the lead indicators become brand search queries. Uh, because there's more than enough uh, yearly search volumes around healthcare in India. And uh, I'm talking about billions of searches happening. And uh, and people have, have become a lot informed. And when they are doing broad-based searches, now they've gone into exact phrase searches as well. So that means they're looking for the right keywords which they need more information about. So... Uh, all of this, if you put together and the call volume that comes to our contact centers. So these becomes a lead indicator and that is how we drive our RPIs. Great. Uh, now looking for, I also discovered inside, uh, Insider, which is your series of uh, digital films. How did you come up with this idea? So, what was the thought process? Absolutely right. So inside AR is, I think by far, uh, if I if you talk to me personally, by far um, highlight of my career. And uh, it was 10 minutes, 10 episodes, um, real life cases. And uh, regional also. And regional as well. And every, every, every location has its own nuances to it. And it has done already 110 million plus views for us. And uh, you wouldn't believe one person. So for instance, a unique user has seen at least three episodes. Uh, okay. And each episode, uh, almost 86% completion rate. So but those are, those are very, very from a content consumption point of view. And if you, Totally look at it from a marketing point of view. It's like dream come true in terms of whatever the right check matrices could be for any content piece. So from that point of view, but if I tell you when we go back to the drawing board while we were thinking and conceptualizing it, uh, there was a clear objective in mind. Like I said, that for us as a brand, neighborhood uh, becomes the larger piece of the strategy. And um, if, uh, God forbid, anything happens to us, uh, we the first thing that we do is we move to the closest um, hospital. Hospital, yes. Right. So in that case, emergency uh, also works in the same format. And uh, we wanted to build it up uh, and showcase that nobody actually has seen what was behind um, in the emergency area of any hospital. 
and Correct. the kind of effort that the clinical teams the kind of uh, or the kind of stress the families goes through and the kind of uh, emotions and strength the families or the clinicians or uh, the entire fraternity shows together so uh, the, our entire premise of starting or saying catapulting to saying that let's make a series out of it was because of a conviction that this needs to come out in front of people and uh, touch wood um, it has helped us uh, increase our brand search volumes uh, the number of calls for us seeking emergency care has increased for us uh, not that we really want people to fell ill, but there is already that is happening and as a brand pull that comes uh, towards us. Now, like you said, content plays a very critical role in your marketing. Uh, what are the challenges, firstly, when it comes to healthcare marketing? And, you know, you use the word empathetic when you talked about the campaign, Upload to Sicker. How do you ensure empathy and compassion in your campaigns? So, Simran, I'll tell you, uh, I've been, what, two years, little over two years into healthcare. And this was my first job in healthcare. And when I was trying to understand and dissect the entire healthcare ecosystem, and I was looking at comms and pieces of content that were created earlier, uh, it was towards how insurance was 10 years back. Scary. If you're not going to do this, this will happen. So thus you take insurance. If you're not going to cross the road with your open eyes, you might die and get an insurance. Right. That kind of messaging used to be a lot uh, prevalent at a time for life insurance. Um, and, um, and similar things used to happen for healthcare. Uh, but we as a brand have taken a stance that that it's already a very stressful situation for a family okay. or somebody who's going through or who requires a treatment for a typical disease. Uh, thus, if the brand is also adding so much of weight onto your shoulders while they are showcasing you your communication, uh, it, it becomes our job to take that away. And uh, it's not it's not required that all interactions have to be negative. So those uh, cut lungs or cut kidneys, uh, we have gone. You won't find it next to our brands uh, when we are talking externally to consumers. Of course, there are places where that becomes appropriate because people want to know more in such situations. We of course follow that situation. Uh, but uh, currently, uh, we had taken a stance a year and a half back in terms of making us as an empathetic brand with happy stories to be told and uh, with happy faces. Success stories, rather. Yes. Uh, I, You know, you use the word stressful. Now, a very stressful situation which happens in the hospital is when you come, when you have to deal with insurance. And I believe uh, Narayan Healthcare is also venturing into the insurance space. Yeah. So what? Uh, how will you be different from the other insurers, basically most of whom are in the BFSI background, who are from the BFSI space? Okay. Now, so the whole idea of us launching insurance was, um, there's, a, there's a clear need gap. Um, I, as a policyholder, don't trust the insurer. I, as a patient, don't trust the hospital. And hospital insurance already have a gap. So uh, there's a clear need gap in terms of somebody picking up uh, the slack and saying that I need to solve this for a for a consumer, right? And um, that's that was the starting point for us. That um, because if I'm invested into a consumer in terms of as an insurance provider, it becomes my responsibility to take care of them. And if uh, the insurer, the hospital, and the patient now all of them are at one side, that only helps the consumer in terms of staying healthy. So imagine how the ecosystem. And the equation changes to such more positivity and such more outcome led for a consumer where I'm going to ask you definitely to take that uh, health checkup every year. I'm going to ask you if you are, say, for instance, diabetic, 
in future i when when we roll out our entire product plans we we going to come back and keep checking on you are you doing well or not so so it 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 solves a lot of current need gaps and uh, it makes us set in terms of uh, moving our journey from being just a hospital to a healthcare brand so basically you have the data set uh, first party data because you in the hospital there are many patients who are coming in and you have all their medical you probably have the entire medical history but so will this uh, product uh, be only for bangalore or uh, it will be a nationwide uh, thing uh, nationwide uh, and will you be tying up for, with yeah. other hospitals uh, of course uh, uh, we will have uh other hospitals as part of it but that's a that's a journey that we are on in right now but if i tell you about when we have done the launch in so we launched first in mysore and neighboring four districts and um, now it's in bangalore and we've started from our flagship and it's in a soft uh, soft launch phase and of course our plan is to scale and but we are not into uh, insurance business from the start. We are known for, for running hospitals and providing the best care possible. So we are taking us slow steps, uh, baby steps, if I may say. And we want to perfect the art in terms of uh, servicing the best for the patient. And once we do that, uh, we will rapidly scale for us. Yes, hoping to a less stressful journey in the hospital. That's the intent. Thank, thank you so much, Ashish, for your time. Thank you, Simran. Thank you so much for your time.